Hey guys, Chris Jarnett here for another edition of High Stakes Living. Today we're going to tour the house of Teddy Iceman Monroe. Let's go inside. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Fine. Welcome to the Iceman's house. Hi. And this Hi. is Chris. my uh, wife, Tori. Hi. Come on in. All right. Where should we start? Is that the World Series I hear? I can always recognize that sound. Yes, I always, I always watch the World Series and constantly focus on how to get better with my game. So I watch it at least three times a week. Now, is this the main event? Is this the episode that you were featured in? Yes, this is the one I'm featuring in and my interview as well. Is it strange seeing yourself? Yeah. <laughs> now, you said you studied World Series of Poker videos before. Can you pick up anything on yourself when you play? Yes. Um, I, I looked at uh, a couple of moves that I made that I know I can improve on. And uh, I constantly watch the other players and see what they're doing wrong so I can make different changes in my game. Now I'm about to show you the Iceman house first. This right here is my bathroom. You and got the uh, scar face. Yes. Uh, I'll tell you one thing. You can't live without Scarface. I read this sign up here and it said American Dream and the world is yours. And that's why I play the game of poker. You know, Scarface helped influence me to, to believe in the American Dream. I love him. Is this where you play online? Yes, I play online here. Sometimes I come over here and I might have a sip of champagne and I sit here and I play uh, party poker. I play four till while I'm getting a massage, which is real comfortable. You can sit here and lean back and you can massage your feet and your body and you can sit here and play comfortable and relax. And I play this at least twice a week. Is that a cup with your picture on it? Yes, yes. This is the Iceman and Tupac. Tupac, is, I love Tupac. He was a prophet. He meant a lot in his music. He meant well, but at the time, uh, a lot of people didn't understand. And uh, But I understood. And, uh, you know, just sometimes when I listen to his music, it hyped me up to go and play poker better. <laughs> Coming here now. I have, oh, I have three Yorkies. I, I meant to tell you that. Three Yorkies? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, one name is Cha Cha, one name is Little Girl, and one name is Diamond. Mm -hmm. And I'm about to let them in. Okay, should I be prepared? Yes. I can hear you. I have Little Cha Cha. Cha Cha's. Come on. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. Yes. Which one's Cha Cha? Which one do I okay. need to. That one. Cha Cha is the one with the green on. Okay. Those are our little babies. Mm -hmm. This is Diamond. And that's little girl. She's pregnant right now with two pup pups. Come here, oh, baby. so they're full grown? Yes, mm -hmm. they're full grown. Wow. These are my babies. This, this is why I work so hard so I can take care of my babies. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This here is where I come and uh, relax when I'm having a little bit of uh, dinner when my wife cooks. She cooks every Sunday. That's why I'm so big. When I moved to Vegas, I was about 220 pounds. Now I'm about 265. And <laughs> when did I, you move to Vegas? Uh, actually, we moved to Vegas uh, around 2002. Am I correct, Pumpkin? We said we moved in 2002, and then we was officially here. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna turn it up. I'm gonna turn it up, and that's what I did. You wanna see the outside? Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> Out here is my backyard. I leave the ground like this because my dogs, they like to run around and like chew on the grass and, you know, they do their thing. And then I got this lion. I, I, everything I buy, I put a, a chain around the neck. The <laughs> symbol of the lion, the cross is good luck. I love the lion. Then I come out here and I swing and I think and I play with my dogs a lot and listen to the water and I grill. And uh, this is my hangout spot when I just want to just get away from it all. Mm -hmm. So now I have to ask you, where did the Iceman nickname come from? Well, the reason why the Iceman nickname, it happened in uh, the second World Series of Poker. Uh, I was going up against this guy and I kept telling him, I said, look, I'm going to freeze you. I said, I'm going to make your mind think every time I show you my hand. And he kept saying, okay, we'll bring it on. And I beat him like five times straight. He just kept chasing me. And every time I beat him, the last time I beat him, 
He went busted, and I said, I froze you. And I said, the ice man froze you. And he was just standing there just looking at me, and that's when I came up with the idea, the ice man. Yeah, it's tough to beat the ice man. If you come up against the ice man, I'm going to freeze you, definitely. This is the closet, which I have, you see. Your World Series collection. Yeah. Oh, you got Ice Man hats. The Ice Man hats, the, the, uh, the, the WSOP poker hats. This is uh, my gear. I love, cool, uh, it's called um, Coogee. Very expensive uh, gear. I wear a lot of it. Um, I got a lot of clothes. I got a lot of Coogee clothes. <laughs> I haven't came out with this yet. This said Ice Man on the back mm -hmm. and on the front. It have an ice break in between the Ice Man and it have icicles on it. Very cool. Oh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Watch her get it's unbelievable. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. <laughs> here is right here is a picture of the 2006 when I was in the World Series of Poker. Uh, I have another picture too. I didn't get my pictures for the 2007, but I get them when uh, the 2008 World Series start. I'm gonna get my pictures and post them up. Yeah, we got a um, beauty salon right here. Tori is the best in the business when it comes down to doing hair. So she have girlfriends that comes over and she does their hair. And here she sits down and do hair. They watch, um, you know, Raps uh, City. They watch stories. They read a lot of magazines, and she does hair. Okay. Coming in here. We got Louis Vuitton everything. We kind of like Louis Vuitton went crazy. Okay. <laughs> Every day I'm trying, I get confused about which Louis Vuitton bag I want to carry out. Uh, these are very expensive bags, um, but I like them. I love Louis. So this bag here I take with me every day take that to the poker room mm -hmm. every day uh, a lot of people that know me they know I take this bag you see I have uh, I have a comp <laughs> that that feeds you and I take my um, pick the earphones from the WSOP how you like that this is what I had on the WSOP I keep these with me these are my lucky charms and I put them on my head like that I turn it around and my iPod probably be in my pocket on my side. I'm sorry, I am just so distracted by that <laughs> amazing collection over yes. there. It took a long time to build this collection right here. A long, long time. These here are very expensive watches. Everybody used to ask me, they used to be like, Ice Man, are you just changing the band? And I was like, no, you know. I said, it takes time to build on this. And then this one right here is made by all these are Jacob the jeweler watches except the one in the back this one here is a man Chanel watch you can see that that's Chanel nice. I have a black one as well I, I, I'm like a watch fanatic this one here is a Tommy Hill figure and and I want to show you something you know I cannot go without getting the Rolex this is the Rolex with all the diamonds in it very expensive watch right here. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> Actually, all of them. <laughs> this is my my second, my third bathroom, and right here is where, where I spend a lot of money on my wife from playing poker. Because every time I make a hit in poker, I make sure she get her half, and we're gonna see if we can get this <laughs> closed for the people in the world. Uh, not not close, but just so they can get a real good view of what type of bags you have. These here is the Chanel shoes, but she constantly buys Chanel. She loves Chanel. She loves um, Gucci, Fendi, and all this stuff. And this bed here is a special made bed for me that I wanted. And I let Buddy, Buddy <laughs> has his cross too. This is Buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Buddy. He's watching the poker game too. He wa he takes care of my watches. He has he has his bling on too. He has his cross. See, he has bling. Hey, Buddy. This is Tori's truck. I bought for her last year, and she's taking good care of it. I have to clean it all the time. This here is my Escalade here. 
I got the uh, big 26 inch rims on it and I love it. I listen to my man, Pac. I have to listen to this guy, Pac. He helps motivate me to go into the poker room and win. His music, his lyrics, it's just, it just, it does something to me to send me in the poker room and he tells me that, you know, I'm going to have a nice day. I like the nice music so I could jam to it because I like to go into the poker room and I like to bounce. The Ice Man loves to bounce. <laughs> you know? And I want to thank y'all for coming to see the Iceman Crib. This is just the beginning. The next time you come to the Iceman Crib, it's going to be better. Thank Trust you so me. much, Teddy. You're welcome. And that was the home of Teddy Iceman Monroe. Thanks for joining us for this edition of High Stakes Living. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV.